Hello, my name is Heather and I recently turned 26 years old. And since I'm officially in the latter part of my 20s, I've decided that I've gained enough wisdom and knowledge to share with you guys. I did some deep reflection time and wrote down some of the lessons I've learned along the way. I really hope some of these lessons offer some value to your life as much as they do mine. So here's 26 lessons in 26 years. So lesson number one, invest in yourself. Never stop learning and be a lifelong student. There's always something that you don't know. As an adult, you are not always presented with situations to learn, so you need to seek it out yourself. So never stop seeking. Lesson number two, smoking elephant poo cleanses the sinuses. <laughs> okay, so this sounds kind of silly, so a little backstory. I was in Kruger National Park, South Africa on a morning hike. Our guide picks up some elephant poo, which is essentially just dried vegetation, right? So we all huddle around him and he brings out a lighter and he lights it on fire and start, it like starts bringing the smoke up and he's like, inhale it, inhale it. And we're like, what? And I was like, okay, whatever, one in Rome, right? I, I inhaled and it indeed cleansed my sinuses. To this day, I don't actually know if he was just messing with us because we're tourists or if it's an actual remedy people used to use or still do. Either way, it's a good story and something I can use in two truths or a lie. Number three, minimalize. Simplifying your life both physically and mentally will leave you with so much more space for the things that are actually important in your life. Number four, read books. My ongoing personal goal for myself is to read one book per month. And so far I've been doing pretty good at that. It's great. So yeah, read more books. Okay, number five, this one is pretty obvious, but actually invest your energy and time into eating healthy and working out. It's so good for you. Like I can't even like, if you don't do it, just do it, okay? It's so good for you. Number six is call your friends often, especially those who don't live near you. Don't let distance be a reason that a friendship fades. Number seven is trust your gut and don't settle. If something doesn't sit right with you, especially in a career, a relationship, or just how you decorate your bathroom, change it up a little bit until it does feel right. Number eight, give your parents a break. They are humans too, just like you and I, and blaming them for the wrong things in your life is just not productive. Number nine is college is worth it. As long as you're not getting a degree in underwater basket weaving or going 30 or 50 or 100 or $200,000 in debt, knowing that you will only make a salary of $35,000 when you get out. Just be smart, pick a good major. Yeah, that's, that's it. I digress, but that's it. Go to college. Number 10 is experiment in everything and anything relating to your career. If you're interested in something, take that class, do that internship, like go do a job shadow, make a phone call. I have a friend in the fashion industry and when she was in college, she actually emailed one of the buyers for Macy's and got a response. Just remember that successful people love helping people. You just have to be the one to reach out. Number 11, learn how to manage your finances. I did not know how to budget, invest, or any of that stuff relating to money until my first job after grad school. And also, the more you talk about money, the better you will get at money. Number 12 is plants make a huge difference in a space. Number 13, practice gratitude on a daily basis. I personally use a bullet journal and write down one thing I am grateful for each day. It's pretty cool to be able to look back on random days and see what I was grateful for for that day. Listen more and talk less. Instead of thinking about what you're going to say next, focus on actually absorbing and understanding the information the person you are talking to is saying. Number 15, focus only on what you can control. Everyone has complete control over two things, their work ethic and their attitude. Watch your screen time, especially when you're by yourself. In high school and college, 
Choose your friend over the stupid drama-filled boy. Trust me. Can you tell that there's like anger in that? Yeah. But, uh, mm. Number 18. Know that not all friendships last. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if one of those people are bringing you down, always negative, drama filled, just not productive, and like that's bringing your average down, maybe think about putting distance between you and that person. Music festivals are better than Disney World. Here's my jar full of tickets and wristbands and I was supposed to add a lot more this year, but thanks, Corona. Number 20 is practice contentment. Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses and learn to love the things in your life that you already have. This goes really well with minimalism. Write stuff down, journal, record the good, the bad, and the ugly. I use my journal as a form of therapy since I can't really afford my own therapy right now. So it's great, free therapy. Learn to be alone and love it. You got to live with yourself for the rest of your life. So you might as well just have fun with it. Or, you know, you could always just get a cat. Okay. <laughs> get a cat too. But learn to love being alone. Number 23 is stop saying sorry and start saying no. Move out of your hometown, even if you love it. Move to a different city, and after a year or two, if you decide you hate it, you know you can always move back to your hometown. It's great character building for sure. Number 25 is if you really want to do something, just do it. Just start it now, even if you don't feel ready. Because if you wait until you feel ready, you'll be waiting your entire life, and then you'll be at your deathbed wishing that you would have done it when you're 26 years old. Sorry, that was kind of aggressive, but just do it, even if you don't feel ready. One small step will give you the momentum to keep going and the confidence to keep going, and then you'll be doing it. You'll be doing what you've been wanting to do. I don't know what that was. <laughs> and number 26, last but not least, is know that you are doing the best you can possibly do at this moment of time in your life right now. So that's it. That's 26 lessons in 26 years. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I encourage everyone to do this exercise on their next birthday. It's pretty fun and thought provoking. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I plan to put out more videos, so keep a lookout for that. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Mwah.